This is the arithmetic quiz that period five took on Monday. And I just want to go over this with you so that you have some sense of what it should have looked like. Um, in order to find the square root of 1872, you need to find the factors. And you may or may not have a method that works for you but if you didn't get the right answer, you might want to check out this method. Take the smallest prime, 2, and determine if it goes into this by looking at the last digit. If the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it will be evenly divided by 2. So I can put 2 into this and get 9, 36. And I can put 2 in again, and I will get 4, 68, and I can put 2 in again, and I will get 2, 34, and I can put 2 in again, and I will get 1, 1, 7, and now I'm out of 2s. In order to determine whether or not 3 will go into this, that's the next prime, I add the digits together, 1 plus 1 plus 7, that's 9. If 3 will go into 9, then 3 will go into this number. And it does. So 3 into this is 39. 3 plus 9 is 12. 3 will go into that, so 3 will go into 39. 13 is prime. So I'm finished factoring. And what I have is 2 to the 4th, 3 squared, and 13. If I multiply those numbers together, I get 1872, and if I take the square root of that, I'll have the square root of 1872. If I have the prime factors like this, then I can actually break this up. Into individual square roots. The square root of 2 to the 4th is 2 squared. The square root of 3 squared is 3. The square root of 13 is the square root of 13. If I multiply these together, 13. If I multiply these together, I get 12 square root of 13, and that's the answer. For this one, take a look at the factors, the prime factors here. 2 times 3 times 3. And for this one, 3 times 3 times 3. They both have two factors of 3, here and here and here and here. This one has a 2 that this one doesn't have. This one has a 3 that this one doesn't have. If I multiply top and bottom of this by 3, and I multiply top and bottom of this by 2, then this is 15 plus 4 over 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if I do that arithmetic, I wind up with 19 over 54, and that's the answer. Here, if I look at the factors of this, this is 5 times 7 over 2 times 7, times 5 times 11. This is 5 times 11. This is 2 times 7. 5 over 5 is equal to 1. 7 over 7 is equal to 1. This is 1 over 22. The rules of radicals say that if you're dividing like this, you can take the square root of the numerator and the square root of the denominator. And if you do, the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 49 is 7, and you're all done. This says square root of 7 times square root of 7. Now, the square root of 7 is the number that, if you multiply it by itself, will give you 7. And here we are multiplying it by itself. So it does give us 7. Again, let's look at the factors here. This is 2 times 2 times 3 
times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, so this is the square root of 2 squared times 3 to the 4th, which is equal to 2 times 3 squared, and that's 18. Again, here, square root of 3 times 5 times 2 times 3. Well, I've got two 3's here. I can take one of them out like this and multiply the 2 and 5 back together again. I get 3 square root of 10. That's the answer. Square root of 3 over square root of 5. Unfortunately, these are not perfect squares, so I can't do much with this. The only other thing we need to do is to rationalize the denominator. And we do that by multiplying top and bottom by square root of 5. This is 1, so multiplying this times 1 doesn't change its value. But the top becomes square root of 15, the bottom becomes 5, and so the answer to this is square root of 15 over 5. Again here, this is 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's what 32 is, 2 to the 5th. And this is 7 times 2 times 2 times 2. 8 is 2 to the 3rd. Well, I can take out 2 2's here. So I have 3 times 2 times 2 times the one that's left, square root of 2. And I can take out 1 2 here. 7 times 2 times square root of 2. So this is 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12. This is 14, so this is 12 square root of 2 plus 14 square root of 2, and that's 26 square root of 2. So finally here, this is a times a times a times a times a times b times b times b. I've got one a I can take out, two a's I can take out, one b I can take out, and then one a and one b left. So it's a squared b square root of a b, and that's the answer. a squared b square root of a b. This is something that you need to know how to do.